All right, guys, so today we're gonna check out the brand new TriBit Flybuds in C. Now this is a pair of noise canceling true wireless earbuds that a lot of you guys wanted me to check out. And the retail price on these are $61. And in fact, on Amazon right now, there is an $8 off code. So you can pick these up for 53 bucks. Now, if you can get a pair of true wireless earbuds that's doing a pretty decent job at noise canceling at around 50 to $60, I think it may be worth the price. But we're gonna check out how capable these are, check out some of the specs, check out the sound and see if it's worth that 50 to $60 price tag. So to start with, these do have 10 millimeter dynamic drivers, which is very impressive to have that size driver in a pair of true wireless earbuds this small. Now, other things about this earbud is it's kind of vague as far as the specs and some of the details on it. And what I mean by that is they do have Bluetooth 5.0, but there's nothing that says what kind of Bluetooth codecs these are capable of playing. Same thing with the IP rating. If you go to their site, halfway down the site, it says that these are waterproof, but at the top of the site, it says that it's dust and weather resistant. So I think I'd feel comfortable enough going out and about and not having to worry if it starts to rain or if I start to sweat or it gets splashed on, but I still wouldn't trust submerging these into water. And as far as what you're getting inside the box, you are getting five sets of silicone ear tips, and then you're also getting a USB-C cable. And speaking of the charging cable, battery life is actually pretty impressive because if you're going to use these with the noise canceling turned off, you can get around 10 hours of battery life on the earbuds by themselves. Now, if you're going to use them with the noise canceling on, it only drops it down to eight hours, which is really impressive on a pair that has noise canceling. Now, as far as the battery life on the charging case, if you're going to use these with the noise canceling on all the time, you can look to get around 24 hours total with the case. And if you use them with the noise canceling off, you can squeeze out around 30 hours total, which again is pretty impressive on a pair that has noise canceling. Now, if you do happen to pick the earbuds up and they are dead, a quick 10 minute charge will get you an hour and a half worth of use. Now the case itself is very small and compact. It has that round shaped design where on the back you can see your USB-C input for charging. And then around on the front you have your four indicator lights so that you can kind of gauge how much battery life is on the case. Now the first thing that I noticed when I opened up the lid is how generic these look. There's no logo, there's no kind of special design. They just look very bland and that may be fine for a lot of people, but I think in a market where earbuds are trying things different and doing things to stand out, these are very easy to forget. Now, as far as the controls on here, they do utilize touch controls, but sadly they don't have volume control. So you do have your play, your pause, skipping your tracks forward, going backwards, and you even have the ability to switch between their three different modes. Although in the instruction booklet, it says you hold the left earbud for two seconds, but it's really on the right earbud. So you hold it for two seconds and it switches between your ANC on, your ANC off, and even your ambient mode. And I do want to say that the ambient mode on here is very nice. They do have four microphones that's doing a really good job of pulling in your surroundings. So it's easy to carry on a conversation without actually taking out your earbuds. But as far as the noise canceling goes, I will say that it's not really that impressive. It does a fairly decent job of blocking out low rumble and low engine type noises, but everything else still seems to come through just as if you're listening to them with the noise canceling off. So if you're going at these for the noise canceling alone, I can't recommend them for that, even given the fact that they're 50 to $60. Now, as far as you guys that use your earbuds individually, you'll be happy to know that you can use either the left or the right. And then when I said that these have four microphones on them, I think they do a really good job of focusing in on your voice and blocking out your surroundings for phone calls. But you guys can be a judge by listening to a test here. All right, guys, so here is a mic test using the Flybuds NC. I think it does a fairly decent job of picking up my voice. I do notice that it's picking up more higher tones than some of the other earbuds, but this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call. And so now here is a mic test with the crowd noise being played, which you can hear here. And so this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call public. So now let's talk about the sound. 
If you're going at these just wanting the sound alone, I think that's what saved these because it has a pretty dynamic sound overall. I feel like the bass has really nice kick to it. The mids I would like to see pushed a little bit forward because depending on what genres you listen to, sometimes the mids seem like they take a little bit of a back seat. It's not to say that they get buried in the mix, but you can tell that they're just slightly behind. And that's just something I notice, especially with more chaotic genres. Now as far as the treble, I felt like the treble was nice and detailed. It was nowhere near being bright, but it can definitely keep up with the punch that the bass has. Uh, the treble keeps up nicely, and overall it's a pretty pleasing sounding earbud to listen to. Now as far as the sound stage and the sound imaging, it does a pretty good job here at feeling like you're in a larger environment and I had no issues with being able to tell where sounds are coming from. Again, because the mid sometimes feels like it's taking a step back, you do feel like there is some distance between you and the vocalist and that's not always my favorite way to listen to things. Now as far as my cons with these, the ANC is just subpar. If you're going at these looking for the ANC alone, I don't recommend them for that. I don't like the fact that there's no volume control. And then the design overall is just kind of blah. Now, if you don't care about the design or how things look, that won't bother you, but it's just pretty generic in a market where there are a lot of earbuds that have different things that stand out. So my overall opinion on these, the fact that you can get them for $53 and have some pretty decent noise canceling with some pretty decent sound, it might be worth it to a lot of people. But for my recommendation, I would say that even going with the Flybuds 3 is a much better option, especially if you don't want any noise canceling at all, and it's a much better sounding earbud. But guys, that's my video on the brand new Tribit Flybuds NC. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, make sure to stay tuned for more.